What's up? Welcome into Fairway Forward Friday Night Hits. I'm Mark Whiteman. Thanks for joining us. As always, tons of teams got going last Friday, but many more waiting until week one, including the Chapman Panthers, who started 7-0 last year before being derailed in the playoffs by eventual 3A champion Daniel. Panthers opening up at home against Burns. That's where we find our Julia Morris for our Game of the Week. For the first time in 46 years, Burns and Chapman faced off in a regular season matchup. The game also the Panthers first of the season, while Burns looked to build off its dominant performance in week zero. Chapman gets off to a good start. First quarter, Panthers quarterback Drew Settle connects with DJ Black for a big time touchdown. Chapman with the early 7-0 lead. But the Rebels offense responds before the end of the quarter. Gabe Rogers buys some time and he hits Kaya Cook in the end zone. Tie ball game. It's a back and forth battle throughout the first half. In the second, Chapman's offense continuing to roll. Settle passes to Walt Waddell who holds on to the ball even after the hard hit and the Panthers are up 21 to 14. But Burns once again responding quickly. Matt Long had three touchdowns in Burns' season opener last week. He scores his second of the game there, powering through the Panthers' defense and finding his way into the end zone. Tie game 21-21, that's the score at half. Game stays close in the second half. In the fourth quarter, Burns is up 30-27 to with about two minutes to go. On third and long, Rodgers connecting with Thomas Gregory for the first down, and Gregory stays in bounds and takes it all the way for a touchdown. What a finish and what a game. The Rebels win it 37 to 27. These guys got no fight in them. I mean, uh, kept it interesting. They played a great football team, but found a way to win. Couldn't be more proud of my guys. The Rebels host Dutch Fork next Friday. Chapman plays at Boiling Springs. In Inman, I'm Julia Morris, WYFF News 4 Sports. Daniels title defense had to wait a week. Both the Lions and Easley Green Wave missing last Friday's games due to COVID concerns. Daniels game at West Ashley had already been canceled when Pickens County went virtual temporarily, preventing Easley, Liberty and Pickens from playing as well. So to Central, where we're tied at 14 at the half as the Lions season gets rolling. And Daniel getting the ball to start in the second half. Zach Picklesheimer around the outside, around the outside. How about 63 yards? down the sideline as the Lions get going here to start the second half and that's going to set up Isaac Turner from down and close on the two yard plunge and Lions lead 21 14 at that point easily punting now and that ball is way too high Thomas Dacus grabs it tries to make something happen but he gets shoved out of the back of the end zone by Tyzion Jamison for the Daniel safety Lions roar 54 to 21. The eye in the sky don't lie. Powdersville rallying past Broom last week. Sky four there to watch it happen tonight. First time the Patriots had ever won a season opener last week. BHP off to a 1-0 start with a uh, narrow win over Westside last week. But trouble for A.J. Pendleton. He is sniped by Matthew Spencer who jumps the route for the pick six. And Powdersville rolling early in this game. But BHP going to answer back Pendleton powering in from down in close. But it's Powdersville getting the win here over BHP. That would tie the game on that Pendleton score, but Powdersville goes on to win 34 to 19. Their first ever win over the Bears. Hey, let's show you some scores. Southside Christian beating up on Anderson 42 zip as their undefeated start to the season continues. St. Joe's over Buford 56 21. And it's Christchurch beating Landrum 36 to 14. After a two-year hiatus, the Crosstown rivalry in Greenwood resumed last season with the Eagles blanking Emerald 28-zip. Both teams winning last week to set up an early season unbeaten showdown for bragging rights down in Greenwood County. I love a good rivalry game. Greenwood getting to work, leading by 20 in the third. But here comes Emerald's Adrikas Tolan scoring from two yards out. That still makes the score, of course. Greenwood 20-7 to at that point. And the Eagles going to be on the move again. Dalen Rapley. Hooking up with Billy Pruitt, 55 yards for the Greenwood touchdown. Eagles cruise again, 35 to seven over Emory. And at home, after a big week one win against Lawrence hosting Wren, Hurricanes hoping to shake off a blowout loss to Dutch Fork. Hannah on the march early, going for it down and close and fourth down. But check out the defense from the Hurricanes. How about a goal line stand for Wren? But Hannah, methodical, and Jalen Thompson, undeniable dragging in 
half of the defense for the TL Hanna touchdown competitive game here, but Hanna grinds down the Hurricanes 27 to 16, the final. Let's show you a few more scores if we can. Branchville beating Calhoun Falls 35-0. Blacksburg over Green Sea Floyds 22-14. Two more games in the last 24 hours were unfortunately canceled. The rivalry between Blue Ridge and Greer called off due to a positive test for the Tigers. West Oak at Carolina supposed to have played on Monday. That game also off due to COVID concerns in both programs. Hey, we are taking a quick time out, but we have plenty, and I mean plenty, of great games still to come, including Boiling Springs getting their season started at Dorman. Cavs running backs coach Jake Morris kind enough to throw on a wire for us. It's Mike up. Good job, y'all. We're just going like crazy. They're playing like we thought they would play. Don't do this. Shoot your hands and, and right in the box, all right? Stay with them, okay? All right, here you go. Ah, go back. Does look good on you. Yeah. yeah, slims you up. Got a four, got a corner, got a safety. Fresh legs all the time. Safety sitting over top of it, though. Show him this. Show him this. I've been good. I don't think I say anything bad. 